One of my old chefs used to say, be the bacon. Pork is the king of meats. It's because its fat is so melting and luscious. We're gonna season it with paprika, both sweet and smoked. Garlic, onions. We wanna get these things exploding with flavor. I give you the chorizo burger. So in the spirit of non-discrimination amongst protein choices, today we're cooking a burger with pork. Flavor it like we would a chorizo. So we're gonna start with ground pork shoulder. So this is an 80% lean, 20% fat mixture. That's generally what pork shoulder is gonna be. Fat is gonna keep it nice and moist and tasty. So a lot of people, they want super lean stuff, that's great, but it's gonna be dry that way. So pork shoulder is a good way to go. All right, now we're gonna season our chorizo mixture here, and we're gonna start by cutting an onion. How do you not cry when you cut an onion? Be tough, like just man up, like it's an onion. Like, it's not that big of a deal. I'm crying, because I'm not that tough. Like I said man up, and I knew that was gonna happen. Now I'm crying. So our onions are cooking, and then we're gonna throw in some of our other spices. So here we're using two different types of paprika. Some sweet paprika, or pimenton, the smoked paprika, and we have some red chili flakes. It's gonna have a little bit of spice to it. A nice little shortcut to getting a grill flavor is to add a little bit of smoked paprika, and then we're gonna also add some garlic. Spices are a great way to get the flavor going, get the party started with all of these spices. We can smell that. Well, you can't smell that, but I can smell that. As it cooks down, we're gonna add a little bit of sherry. Sherry vinegar, that's very, very Spanish. So we have spice, we have acidity, we have the savoriness of the garlic. So when it cooks, let it reduce all the way to sep. That's fancy French for dry. So that mixture has to chill because we don't wanna add that mixture hot to our pork because it's gonna to start to cook the pork if it's hot. And you can see it's taking on this deep, rich caramel sort of color and that's exactly what you're looking for right there. All right, so now we have this mixture. We're gonna add it to our pork shoulder grind. So now we're gonna season this. So a little bit of salt. Get aggressive with the salt here. All right, some black pepper. All right, so that's our mixture. So now I'm gonna make my patty. It's got the pork fat in it. We've added some things to this little bit more of almost a sausage-like texture. There we go, this beautiful form patty. So now we're gonna make our version of romesco sauce. So romesco can have many different ingredients. Usually it's got peppers, some sherry vinegar, and some almonds. So we're gonna throw all of our stuff in our blender, our toasted almonds. Piquillo peppers. If you can't find piquillo peppers, just standard roasted red peppers would be fine. Piquillo's slightly spicy, but really honestly, it just sounds like a cool pepper. A little bit of sherry vinegar. We're always stacking flavors. There's some paprika that's in the patty, and now there's gonna be some sweet and smoked paprika that's in the sauce. We're gonna throw in our onion and garlic mixture that we reserved from when we made our patty as well. And some ketchup, right? Because this is still America, right? So we're gonna use a little bit of ketchup and that's gonna make it a romesco ketchup. And add a little bit of olive oil. It's gonna round it out a little bit. It's gonna give it a little bit of a sort of floral, nutty flavor to it. Practice safe blending. It's like, you know, a stick shift on a car. You don't wanna start in fifth gear because that's gonna hurt the car, right? You're not really gonna go anywhere. And in this case, we're gonna explode sauce all over the place. And don't be that person that sets it up on high, on 10, for the next person that uses the blender. That's just mean. Wait for it, wait for it. To me, that's a great texture. All right, so now we're ready to cook our chorizo patty, and we're gonna cook it on what you might call a griddle, but in Spain they call it a plancha, which sounds so much more romantic. So this is our plancha, and we're gonna season it. In this case, olive oil on it to get some flavor going. Cast iron is gonna give it that sort of charred flavor. There's really not any concerns with trichnosis or anything more. You don't have to cook pork well done, but we're gonna cook it a little bit more than we would with our beef. So we have some potatoes that have been partially cooked. We're actually gonna finish those on the plancha. So now, of course, very fashionable topping for burgers, a poached egg or a grilled egg. So we're gonna fry an egg. Egg? Egg? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna fry an egg. <laughs> we're 
We're gonna cook this egg sunny side up because we want that yolk to be the sauce for the burger. You can see because the paprika is in it, it looks like it's charred a little bit more than it actually is. All right, our hash browns are great. We're gonna pull those off. Nice and golden brown, delicious. So that egg looks great. We're gonna pull that off. Pork is not gonna eat as good mid-rare because the fat is really luscious and melting. It's gonna eat a little bit better medium to medium well. We're also gonna toast our bun. We have, in this case, a potato bun. We have potatoes in the dish. We're gonna brush a little olive oil so it doesn't stick or char to the grill. That's gonna also mop up the flavor. We're just stacking flavors. Always going to take that dish to the next level. We're gonna start plating as that's finishing. We have our bottom bun, it's nice and toasted. Add some of our Romesco ketchup to that. I like my main condiment to go on the bottom of the bun. That way it's gonna be there for every bite. Some hash browns, some potato. So we have our burger. Our fried egg. And then the last step to this, manchego cheese. The cheese has got umami. Umami is the flavor of savory. You think that's enough cheese, but, but it's not. Not even close. Showering of manchego cheese. Remember that egg is gonna be the sauce. It's gonna ooze all over this burger. Don't forget to click to subscribe and you'll receive next week's episode as soon as it hits the interweb. It's free, no spam, and you'll be automatically entered to win branded paraphernalia that's sure to up your general happiness. There's nothing manlier than a meat lover's pizza except Madonna's arms. Learn how to make one that'll put Pizza Hut to shame right here. Food for Louis visits from across the pond to taste something that's straight from a pond, duck tongue. It's one thing to toss a few eggs, but fertilized ones with duck embryos? Come on, guys. This challenge is about to get messy. PB&J and grilled cheese? The only part of your childhood missing from this Sammy is being picked last for kickball. Subscribe for more free tasted treats.